Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to share with you what I've just been reading that came across my desk today. It's the findings of the 2017 HIPAA compliance audit. I'm going to read a few facts for you just to tell you what the results of this was from last year, and then we could discuss how we could protect you, your business, and your employees. 99% of practices are in violation of HIPAA. That's 99%. 43% are in violation of some aspect of the privacy rule. Fines that were issued in 2017, one case was settled at $3.5 million for data breaches. One small practice was hit for $31,000 for not having a HIPAA business associate agreement. So they didn't have the proper paperwork with their staff in their files. Another practice was hit for a $2.3 million fine for HIPAA violations. Another one for $3.2 million. I think you know where I'm going with this. 69% of all HIPAA investigations resulted in a fine, not from just 2017, but going back to the inception of HIPAA. All of this can be avoided by proper staff training. What are you doing to protect your medical business? Look at it as an insurance policy. We have insurance policies in place to protect our business, whether it's from liability aspects, slip and falls, especially in the Northeast if the weather's not good, uh, malpractice to protect our medical license. But what are you doing to prepare for any of these possible violations in your office? It could all be prevented by communicating with your staff and having the proper things in place to protect you. If you don't think this could happen to you, well, I'm going to tell you it happened to us years ago. We were called by HIPAA, someone had filed a complaint about our office, and we were blown away by this because we've always made sure we were up to date on our HIPAA training. What happened was we were able to provide content on two different occasions of how we set up our HIPAA practice protocols. As a result, we were found innocent. There was no fine levied against us. Now, we're not saying that anything you provide is going to erase any possible penalty. But if you look at the letter of the law, the way HIPAA is written, it will protect you in a way that it could reduce a fine, if not eliminate it. So what are you doing to protect your business? What steps are in place to help you ensure that you're not losing revenue and giving it away because you're not doing the proper protocols to protect patient and client privacy? Have a great day.